Hi, I'm Donna DeVere, the original creator of the Folk Art One Stroke Painting Technique. Welcome to the Let's Paint Studio right here at Plaid. Learning to paint has never been as easy as when I teach you how to load a brush with multiple colors where you can blend, shade, and highlight with one stroke of the brush. Our new program with Let's Paint Folk Art One Stroke this year is going to be all about learning how to paint 50 different types of flowers. And as you can imagine, 50 flowers makes the possibility endless to be able to paint floral designs. I'm thrilled that you've chosen to join me on this one stroke journey. So let's paint. Today we're painting a daffodil. We're gonna be using my reusable teaching guide so I can teach you how to practice on it. We're gonna use folk art multi-surface paint and let's go over the colors that are gonna be in this project. So it's gonna be moon yellow, apple red, wicker white, and then we're gonna do citrus green and sap green. We also have folk art one stroke brushes, the number 12 flat and the number two script liner. So I want you to see how we're gonna make this um, pretty little daffodil with a little bent uh, stem, which is they have lots of times. And so I'm gonna show you how to make that happen and how to paint this flower. And these are actual my size strokes right here for you so you can practice at home with me. And what we're gonna do first is pick up the 12 and we dampen that brush first and then we lay it on a paper towel, all right? We're gonna be in the double loader here and we're gonna pick up white and go right next to the moon yellow, wicker white and moon yellow. And then we're going to work this in so that you see what we're looking for, for color, okay? So if you could put them next to each other, that's good. But if you can't, I wanna show you that you can dip each corner and come pick up the paint that you want. So on the outside here, I'm gonna practice here to see if that color is the color I want. And then I'm gonna slide following the arrows, we slide up and then we slide right back down. Now you can lift, but it's better not to lift because it's very easy to go up and get that shape and then come back down, all right? So the second stroke is right here. And then see, I did lift a minute to show you. All right, and this side we're pushing and we're lifting and we're gonna stand back up there. So what's good about this, a lot of orchids are like this too, where they do the three petals in the background Actually, there's quite a few flowers that do that. So they have the three shapes in the background. And then all you do now is come right here and do the three that go on top. One, two, three. Now, when you break down the flower easy like that, it makes it easy to do. Now, what I wanna share with you, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this off. I have baby wipe or a wet paper towel because this multi-surface paint will stick well to this. All right, so now I wanna show you, let's learn how to do the trumpet that's the center of this flower. And so we're gonna take apple red, and let's come over here and work the apple red and the yellow daffodil, the moon yellow, apple red and moon yellow. Okay, so let's pick up a little bit more now, the only thing I'm going to do on this is pick up a, on the moon yellow side a little bit of wicker white, a little bit more. There we go. All right, so I'm going to practice right here, see if the stroke's right. See, that's a good color. Now, what you want to do is have the trumpet first, so see how we're stroking that? So that's going to stroke right here. All right, now I'm going to pick up a teeny bit more white, come over here. And this back of this right here is going to be right on here, okay? So that's the back side, which is what I just showed you right here. All right, then you wanna do a front side. So we're gonna come right in front and come back up to here. So you're gonna make that complete movement around and see, here's the trumpet. So we're gonna come right across here and make that finish. And then we're gonna pull our stamens in the middle, okay? So let's take all this off. And 
I go ahead and paint the flower and then we come back in and do the stem. So see how that's going to be? Because then we can decide if we want to uh, bend in it or if we want it straight. Okay, so it's really important that you leave this right here so you it helps you remember the steps that we're doing here. And you can also trace this and transfer it onto here to get that size if you want to. All right, so remember we're picking up moon yellow, wicker white, and we're going to work this in. All right, so the first stroke I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here and slide right back down. And we're going to make a triangle. So we're going to come right down here. Now, sometimes these are longer in some flowers, and so, but this flower, they're not any shorter and longer. They're all the same length. Now, see, so you can also break that into two strokes. Okay. One more time. All right, so now let's put the four, five, and six on top of there, okay? So we're going to pick up the wicker white, moon yellow, and now we're going to go in between each one of them, but like I said, they're the same length. Okay. And what you, if you saw when I'm picking up paint, I'm going right where I loaded it. See right in here where we actually flatten the stroke to see it, if it's blended well, because there's still plenty of paint there. All right. So see, I need this over a little bit more, but look, you can just go like that. And go over just a little bit more. All right, so I tell people don't wipe off, just pick up more paint and go right back over here. So there we are, and we come back. Okay, so now the next step in here is that trumpet. So the base to the trumpet is this red, apple red, moon yellow. And we put a little bit of white on the moon yellow, wicker white onto the moon yellow. Okay, so what we do right in here is that we're going to come right down here and get the shape of that trumpet first thing. Now, as we come down, we're going to come back up. Okay, I'm going to wipe that off. And come back with some more of the apple red because it'll look more dramatic. Okay, so we're going to pick up the moon yellow and wicker white. Okay, on the same brush. And so if I don't see this, see, I'm not seeing that color well, I just need to pick up more white. There we go. And then we slide down, pick up a little bit more white. On top of that yellow, you need that white. Okay, so in front, remember we're going to put this brighter color in front. We're going to pick up more white. Let's do daffodil. Daffodil. We're, making, <laughs> we're painting a daffodil. We're going to pick up moon yellow and work it white. Okay, so we're going to come right here and we're going to come lower and do that whole full circle there. But then we're going to pull these colors up. And when you get through there, you can slide back down. All right, so we're going to have a stamen that comes out of there. But the first, what, what I want to do next is practice the green stem and leaf that we have here. So I'm taking the same brush and I'm coming right in here. And I don't even have to wash that because it has some nice colors that will be good with the leaf. All right, so I'm going to start right here, push and pull down. Also, we have the practice stroke here, so it shows that we need a little bit darker. The same leaf is for this whole piece slides down and comes back. It's a big loop from there to there. And I'm trying to lay it to the side so the sap green is on the outside, but sometimes you might want the light green, the citrus green. So let's come in here. I'm not going to be able to make, it doesn't look like, and I never know until I do it unless I draw it in advance. 
but it looks like I'm going to be able to come right there and curve and come down. So I have a little bit of a curve. Yeah, my finger's not sliding. <laughs> there you go. All right. So let's do a couple of leaves. We're going to do one that's going to go up here along here. And push down a little bit. And then we will have one on the other side. So you could go up, and then you could come right back down. And let's put a little green stem in there, a vein in there. Okay. There we go. So now let's do the center of this flower. All right, in the center, I've just pulled these little white um, stamens in here. So I'm going to come out here and just pull with thick white paint. This is wicker white. It's not inky. That's what I mean by thick. Okay. And we're going to pull another one. And then we just come in with some yellow. A little bit of daffodil yellow thick and just put it on the ends of these. All right. I'm going to pick up just a teeny bit of moon yellow and come around here so you can see this better. And a little bit right there. So there we are. I had so much fun today sharing how easy it is to paint these flowers. They turned out gorgeous. Remember, practicing on the reusable teaching guides right over my strokes gives you so much painting confidence. Thank you for joining me here in the studio. And remember, we just learned one more of the flowers from the A to Z One Stoke Floral Painting Sets. And I would love for you to take pictures and share them on our Let's Paint with Plaid Facebook group by hashtagging Let's Paint Challenge. Come on, everybody, let's paint.